of the International Space Station and between the Zvezda service module and the Poisk module. These gap spanners essentially uh, will be used in the future to help transport equipment and the crew members uh, from one module uh, to another uh, as they conduct a future spacewalk activity. Uh, most notably uh, in the setup of other equipment that will be uh, preparatory to the arrival of the uh, Russian multipurpose laboratory module that is scheduled uh, to be launched no earlier than the end of this year. The crew then uh, will install this uh, Vinoslavost experiment uh, on the Poisk module. Uh, it is a suite of experiment uh, samples that will measure uh, the effect of the microgravity uh, environment of space on those samples. Uh, Vinoslavost uh, was initially uh, installed during an Expedition 30 spacewalk by Russian cosmonauts Alei Kononenko and Anton Shkaplerov on uh, February 16th. 2012. Uh, there were two panels uh, installed at that point, uh, the first of which uh, was retrieved by cosmonauts Roman Romanenko and Pavel Vinogradov uh, during an Expedition 35 spacewalk back in April. Unfortunately, uh, Vinogradov lost his grasp on that experiment and it uh, floated away from him. The second of those two experiment panels uh, was retrieved on the last Russian spacewalk back on June 24th by Yurchikin and Mazurkin. So a fresh set of samples uh, to be installed today, uh, the Vinoslavost experiment to be installed on Poisk uh, during the course of today's spacewalk. The next uh, task will be to route uh, power cables. There are two sets of power cables that will be routed through a uh, a uh, meandering set of uh, hooks and handrails along the Russian segment of the International Space Station uh, from uh, the uh, Poisk module to the Zarya module. Again, uh, preparatory work uh, for the MLM or the Multipurpose Laboratory module's arrival uh, to replace the Piers docking compartment on the International Space Station. And then uh, the power and Ethernet cables uh, will be left unplugged. There is nothing to plug into at this point, uh, but there is future work ahead for other cosmonaut crews uh, once the multipurpose laboratory module arrives at the International Space Station. Give us one second. The uh, Ethernet cable routing, uh, one Ethernet cable uh, to be routed once again from the uh, Russian segment of the station to the U.S. segment. Uh, that uh, Ethernet cable uh, will be uh, strung and uh, tied off on a handrail and awaiting uh, future installation into other equipment to be delivered uh, on that multipurpose laboratory module to complete the power and data connections required for the new module once it arrives at the International Space Station. In all, uh, the spacewalk expected to last some six hours, 30 minutes. Uh, Fyodor, what is the pressure in DC right now? 10 millimeters. Poppy, go ahead and start opening the EV hatch. Sasha, please. Be my guest. In work. So set the indicator flag to operating position. In work. Please check the screws. Okay, checking screws. One, two, three. Three. Four. All removed completely. The uh, latches are aligned. The hatch opening aid is here and ready to open the hatch. Please do. I see the roller is moving. Just a little tiny bit more. Sasha. And the rollers are out. The hatch is open. Let me push it. Feather. What is the pressure? Well, it's pretty close to zero now, Sergey. Uh -huh. Sasha, I'm trying to position myself right here under whatever this thing is. Uh, the pressure is seven millimeter, uh, millimeters actually, Sergey. Okay, Sasha, please resist the urge to open the hatch. And Fyodor, the specialist gave you a go to do EVA with the transmit button on the comm panel, release.
Не, не надо. Окей, okay, копи. Давайте скинем давление. Саша, go ahead and try to tag on the uh, hatch cover. Uh, no, Федор, please. Stand by. Wait until the pressure drops a little bit more. It's four millimeters now, Sergey. Copy. Okay, Sergey, I am done waiting. I'm ready to open that hatch cover. Sure. Yeah, this is Fyodor Sasha. Go ahead. Actually, wait, wait. Let me move other way. Would you like any help moving, Fyodor? No, I think I'll manage. Sasha, did you open the hatch? I did. Actually, I'm still in the process of opening it. I'm reconfiguring my tethers and such. Did you get it? Yes, I have it. Okay, then I'll take the ring. Right, so guys, go ahead and start installing the protective ring. Okay. And my tether is secured. Excellent. Sasha, give me one end. Could you move it just a tiny little bit clockwise? A little bit more. Clockwise? Yeah, that's right. One, two, done. Click and that's tight. Sergey, please note the protective ring has been installed. Copy. Sasha, your go to egress. And what about the heat exchanger, Sergey? This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the uh, spacewalk officer here in Mission Control, Allison Bollinger, talking to her EVA counterparts uh, over in Moscow at the Russian flight uh, control room, confirmed the uh, opening of the hatch to the pier's docking compartment at 9.39 a.m. Central Time, 10.39 a.m. Eastern Time, marking the official start of today's spacewalk by Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin, the 172nd spacewalk in support of space station assembly and maintenance, the seventh spacewalk in Yurchikin's career, the second for Mazurkin, and their second spacewalk together. Okay, so I am 
secured and ready to egress. And I'm secured on EV ladder, that is. I copy, Sasha. I'm on EV ladder. And I'm ready to turn on my heat exchanger. Okay, first go ahead and turn on sublimators. So they're move a little closer to Sasha and we'll actually have you do it as close to each other as possible. So it's almost uh, simultaneous. Okay, my sublimator is on. Copy. Uh, that was EV2, and uh, this is EV1. I haven't even started uh, to turn on my sublimator. I'm just getting secured here. On PO5 panel, I have indication TO, which stands for hit exchanger. Confirming a receipt of indicator TO or heat exchanger. Sergey, how do you read and how do you copy? I copy now. What did you say last? I said TO. Okay, we're uh, getting in touch with Gennady. Stand by one, please. The International Space Station is currently flying 260 miles above the Earth over the South Pacific, moving uh, to the east of Australia, to the northeast of New Zealand, from uh, northwest to southeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. A good look uh, at the uh, cosmonauts who have just emerged in darkness outside of the Piers docking compartment to begin uh, their spacewalk. Uh, the hatch was opened at 9.39 a.m. Central Time to mark the official start of this spacewalk. The sixth uh, spacewalk conducted out of the uh, International Space Station this year, the third of six Russian spacewalks to be conducted during 2013. Alexander Mazurkin was first out of the uh, hatch to the Piers docking compartment. He's working right now with uh, Fyodor Yurchikin, uh, the more experienced of the two spacewalkers, to install a protective ring around the circumference of the hatch to Piers to make sure it is not damaged by any uh, foreign debris uh, during the course of the spacewalk. Yurchikin will be handing uh, Mazurkin a variety of equipment uh, to set up uh, for the first of the tasks of the spacewalk. Your chicken uh, will be uh, working to transfer uh, a lot of hardware over to uh, a Strela boom. There are two uh, such telescoping booms named Strela, the Russian word for arrow, that are attached uh, to the Piers docking compartment. Mazurkin will be the operator at the operator's post of uh, the Strela boom, and your chicken, along uh, with uh, a universal uh, cable carrier and other equipment uh, will be maneuvered uh, outside of the uh, envelope of the longitudinal axis of the International Space Station's Russian segment and then moved over uh, to uh, the uh, forward end of the Russian segment to begin his work uh, and then will be joined by Mazurkin. So uh, we hopefully will get a good view of uh, your chicken being transported at the end of the Strela boom by Mazurkin a short time from now. Yeah. 
Так. Здесь тоже отцепить. Okay, so I detached it on this side as well. А теперь там спать, да? Да, теперь я сюда назад уйду. So, Федор, do you want to move this way then? Ваш салон, да? Uh, no, actually, I think I'm going to move out that way. So, as to not tangle up in my tether. I think this is perfect. Well, if you say so. Wait, wait, Sasha, wait. Yeah, I see it. We should be moving into an orbital sunrise about four and a half minutes from now to improve our view of the uh, two cosmonauts uh, working uh, in tandem. You can see uh, the universal uh, cable carrier uh, a set of cable reels uh, that uh, house uh, the two power connector cables and the one Ethernet cable uh, being handed out of the uh, hatchway of Piers by your chicken to Mazurkin. Sasha, is your camera on? But of course. Sergey, you did tell us yourself that sunrise is not till in three minutes from now. Yeah, but we didn't see anything, but now we're seeing something. Okay, Sasha, uh, let me get the cables this way. And now our first uh, helmet camera view uh, from Alexander Mazurkin's helmet uh, as he uh, holds on to the uh, universal cable carrier that uh, houses all of the uh, cables that will be rigged during the course of today's spacewalk. Two power connector cables and one ethernet cable from the uh, Zarya module to the Poisk module. Uh, those cables uh, will involve a lot of intricate uh, and delicate stringing of these cables uh, through a series of handrails and uh, uh, hook yes. points uh, that uh, exist uh, down the Russian segment of the International Space Station. All work in preparation for the uh, launch no earlier than later this year and the arrival of the uh, Russian Nauka uh, multipurpose laboratory module that will replace the Piers docking compartment that was launched uh, back in September of 2001. Adjustable, and uh, I am secure to the EV ladder, uh, Sergey, and ready to egress. Copy. Sasha, uh, let me swap my tethers. Take your time, Fyodor. No rush. Okay, so the uh, Strela operator post, GSM, is on our other side. Uh, yes, Fyodor, that's right. Okay, so the short one. And adjustable. How about if I go down below and then I'll take uh, one tether and attach it to uh, the large carrier? Okay. And I can actually hand it over to you, Feather. I got it. Copy, you got it. 
All right, and once you have it all secured and, and attached and everything, I can start moving towards you. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay, and this is a fix. And uh, I have the short tether here also. Yeah, I see it, Feather. I think you have everything you need. Why wasn't I blessed with longer arms? Let me actually attach it to the trailer operator post, guess Sam. Mm -hmm. All right, let me actually cross the street so that um, I can clear out of your way, Sasha. Right, and you should ask a car right next to you. Feather, I'm pretty sure you're on the wrong side of Strela. You need to be on the other side. Yes, I know, but on this side, there is no more handrails. There's a gap spinner, however. So, probably that would be a good tether point for me. Yeah, and so there, if it is convenient for you later on when you get to it, uh, you'll probably need to rotate the grapple fixture along its axis. Mm hmm. It should be in the intermediate position. Sergey, I need to rotate the grapple fixture first because it's a uh, 90 degree. Off. Right. Well, there is a handle in order for you to do that. You need to pull it down and then rotate it. Fyodor? 
And, uh, Sergey, I can confirm it's in the intermediate position. You need to move it to an intermediate position. Yes. It's intermediate position. I can confirm that. Who called me? Fyodor, your LCG temperature is very low. It's uh, 8.6 degrees. That's way too cold. Okay, uh, I'm comfortable. If you're okay with it, I can, I'd like to keep it that way for some time, and we'll check back with you, okay? Okay. That's fine, Fyodor, but be careful because 8 degrees is very low. Okay, I'll get closer. I'll attach the hip closer. I'll get this end of the UKP. Matter, matter is that a particular unit is on my side. This is Mission Control Houston, just 20 minutes into today's spacewalk by Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin. Uh, this view from Mazurkin's helmet camera as uh, he begins uh, to set up uh, the bundle of equipment uh, on a universal cable carrier that uh, basically is a uh, series of reels housing two power cables and an Ethernet cable that will be strung between the Zarya module and the Poisk module uh, during the course of today's spacewalk for the future arrival of the multi-purpose laboratory module that the Russians will launch on a proton rocket. They are uh, securing uh, these uh, bundles of equipment along with uh, connector patch panels and gap spanners uh, to the end effector of the 46-foot-long uh, telescoping Strela boom that uh, Fyodor Yurchikin will mount and ride uh, all the way out uh, to the forward end of the Russian segment of the International Space Station a short time from now, along with all of that equipment to begin setting it up for the rigging of those cables. Yes, I see it. I see the top. The top of which? Well, I have an additional top. Oh, that's what it is. Yes. On the grapple fixture, there is a blocking device. Do you see? Do you remember? It's, this is so, sort of a locking part of the uh, grapple. No, this the prime is the handle. There is a lock. When you move the handle into the closed position, there is something like a latch next to it. It's the locking unit of the grapple fixture. Right now it's in the open position. It should be in the open position, and when you close the handle, then you're going to move it in the closed position. This is an additional safety feature. Okay. Peter Nikolaevich. Oh, um, can you move this one over? Okay, I got it. Okay, hold on. Так. 
Um, could you give instructions? How do you want me to uh, hand it out vertically? Oh, um, keep giving it out. The hook attaching the end. Um, did it go in? Yes, the ball is inside. I will try to secure it. Are you able to pull it out? No. Okay, let's dance on it a little. Well, how much deeper should it go in? Further. Take a look. The handle should go into position uh, closer to Strela and to the closed position. You need to rotate it to the left. Peter Nikolaevich, close again. Close it again. Okay. It's in. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, hold on to it. Holding. This is Mission Control Houston. We're in a handover between satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system. We should be reacquiring a, a television signal momentarily uh, from the International Space Station as we follow uh, the early work being conducted outside of the Piers docking compartment by Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin, who opened the hatch to the Piers docking compartment 25 minutes ago at 9.39 a.m. Central Time to begin uh, the first of two spacewalks they will conduct over the next six days. Today's spacewalk uh, designed uh, to install two power cables and an Ethernet cable uh, for the future arrival of the multipurpose laboratory module to be launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome by the Russians on a proton rocket and the installation of a suite of experiment panels uh, called the Vineslavost experiment, uh, which uh, will be mounted on the Poisk module of the International Space Station, inside of which Station Commander Pavel Vinogradov and Chris Cassidy are isolated today per the flight rules uh, to split up the crews aboard the International Space Station during a Russian spacewalk, ensuring that the proper hatches are closed in the highly unlikely event that the two spacewalkers, in this case Yurchikin and Mazurkin, could not return to the safety of the Piers docking compartment and then uh, into the International Space Station following their spacewalk. I uh, secured it. Okay, give this one to me. Your chicken is currently working uh, to transfer uh, several bundles of spacewalking equipment uh, to affix them to an end effector at the end of a 46-foot-long boom called the Strela boom, uh, one of two such uh, transportation devices uh, that are mounted on the pier's docking compartment uh, that will uh, enable your chicken to be maneuvered at the end of that Strela boom by Mazurkin, who will be operating from an operator's post, essentially with a hand crank uh, that will uh, maneuver the Strela boom to a position over to a work site uh, at the forward end of the Russian segment of the International Space Station so that uh, your chicken uh, will be able to uh, then set up the equipment for the start of the rigging of these cables. You can see in this uh, animation uh, that uh, Mazurkin working from the operator's post and your chicken uh, mounting uh, the Strela boom itself uh, will be maneuvered uh, to the outboard end of the uh, Russian segment uh, to begin his work. Again, uh, these Strela booms were attached to the Piers docking compartment after it arrived at the International Space Station as an airlock for Russian spacewalks in September of 2001. Adjustable. And now back with television, uh, looking uh, out of the helmet camera mounted on Alexander Mazurkin's helmet on his Russian Orlan spacesuit. Mazurkin wearing the suit bearing the blue stripes as EV-2 or extravehicular crew member number two today. Fyodor Yurchikin, uh, conducting the seventh spacewalk of his career, is wearing the suit bearing the red stripes.
go ahead. Okay, I'll copy. I understand. I'm going to remind it to you just in case. Okay, thank you. Did you get it? Yes, we're uh, we're done. Okay, this is the ring. Yeah, I'm going to translate towards the ring. Okay, did you secure the copy? Okay, I have the reel. Can we do it? I'm going to move it as um, far as possible to the ring. Is it on the ring? Yes. I'm going to move the second one to the ring as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, hold on there. That's it. That's two on different handrails. I have information for Gennady Sergeyevich. Um, then when the message went through, oxygen uh, pressure uh, is uh, 388. It can't be um, lower. Okay, they're analyzing the situation. Uh, do you want me to secure this as well? Yes, please. Okay, can it reach that far? Yes, I got it. I'm going to secure the ring. Okay. Okay, I am attached to the ring, Sergey. I have one kiss. Copy, Sasha. Fyodor Nikolaevich, is it uh, working fine? Yes, it looks fine. Okay, I'm going to start moving slowly. Okay. Go ahead, Sasha. And if we read near the antenna, can you translate to 6002? If not, then you can translate away right away. Okay. Can you lift your feet? Uh, lift your feet. Do you see it on the right? Yes, I do. Yes, I'm still hanging here. I'm going. I'm going to take your short tether. A little more than 30 minutes into the spacewalk and right on the timeline, Alexander Mazurkin is transferring uh, one of the bundles of uh, EVA hardware, spacewalking tools and equipment uh, to be installed uh, on the Russian segment of the station today. Uh, that uh, stowage is taking place along uh, the uh, Strela boom uh, that Fyodor Yurchikin will be riding on to the outboard uh, end of the Russian segment of the International Space Station a short time from now. It's going to start dropping slowly. Okay. I have uh, translated around the um, target on Pahal, and I took the kit around. Copy. 
Just everything is nominal. Did you uh, secure Testrella? Yes, I have uh, Okafe employee secure Testrella. And I need just to release it from the handrail. Okay, copy. I am currently at the extension joint. Uh, extension joint. And here's the antenna below. I'm going to secure um, the hook here. Okay, fine. We have, uh, I have the hook attached. Let me try to translate to six zero to zero. Okay, try Sasha. If you feel something is wrong, then you can move out of there right away. Okay. Translating to the left, yes, I see you, Pilot. Let me translate over here. Copy. Once again, Fyodor, your chicken, uh, who is located at the uh, bottom of your screen, is uh, setting up uh, all of the equipment, uh, the universal uh, cable carrier that is uh, comprised of two reels of cables, of uh, power cables and an Ethernet cable, uh, to be uh, strung from the uh, Zarya module to the Poisk module of the International Space Station in preparation for the arrival uh, later this year at the earliest of the uh, new multipurpose laboratory module, a huge uh, module that will serve uh, both as a scientific laboratory, a docking port, and an airlock for future Russian EVAs replacing the pier's docking compartment that you see at the top of your screen. Uh, near the pier's hatch is Alexander Mazurkin, who uh, is currently working uh, at the operator's post of this 46-foot-long Strela boom and who will be uh, maneuvering uh, that boom with your cheek and affixed at the end of it over to the first work site for today's installations.
вышло. Сергей Сергеевич. Я тебя слышал. Еще раз. I... I did not copy. Please repeat. Not um, At the bottom left. It says uh, uh, decimal two, accelerate decimal two. It comes up and then it goes away. Well, especially does it remain? Um, well, it's always there. The bottom. At the bottom line, it's the message that O2 is high. It could happen if, if the um, pressure in the oxygen tank um, went up uh, for a short period of time. It's going to recalculate the um, uh, projected O2 flow rate. Um, does it show right now the pressure in your prime oxygen bottle? Yes, of course. Three, eight, one atmospheres. That is nominal. simultaneously. The one at the bottom. It's fine. So the kit is secured. The bundle is secured. Uh, secured to the handrail. Uh, the second hook is securing it to handrail is 6019. Copy. And I'm going to translate to the operator. Uh, both. One hook. One of my hooks is attached to the trailer. Copy, we see that, Sasha. is on Strella. We see that, caught y'all. Sotr Nikolaevich, are you cold? No. Sotr Nikolaevich, are you cold? No. How is the breathing? Breathing is going well. <laughs> Guys, for your information, we have 30 minutes until the eclipse. We're going to perform the translation during the insulated part. We'd like to get there. Okay, um, we, can, we can make it, I think. Yeah, let's not, let's try not to um, try to predict things. Okay, the hook is secured. Copy.
Я на посту оператора. Принято. I'm at the operator post. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston, 43 minutes into the spacewalk by Yurchikin and Mazurkin. A good view from Mazurkin's helmet camera as he is at the operator's post at the base of the 46-foot-long Strela boom that uh, he shortly will be uh, maneuvering uh, through, an ha through a hand crank device uh, to uh, reposition Fyodor Yurchikin, who's at the end of that Strela boom, along with a variety of equipment, over to the forward end of the Russian segment of the International Space Station uh, for the rigging, the start of the rigging of cables, two power cables and an Ethernet cable uh, that will be uh, strung uh, through a very circuitous route along a series of handrails on the Russian segment from uh, the Zarya module to the uh, Poisk module of the International Space Station. Okay, that's good. Okay, then we're going to go. Okay, copy all. I wanted to remind you. You're going to go to the right. Slowly, one uh, revolution in two seconds. I'm going to even do it uh, slower. Yes, I see that. It's nominal. He's afraid I'm going to um, get motion sickness. You know, um, when um, Musta was telling um, to Afanasi, why are you screaming over there? It was fun down here in Mission Control. And then what's going on? Peter Nikolaevich, I don't have a good view. So, uh, so give me information. Okay, uh, so far it looks good. How far should we go? At 45? Yes, 45. Slowly turning that hand crank at the operator's post of the Russian Strela telescoping boom. Fyodor Yurchikin taking a ride uh, to the transfer end of the uh, Zarya module of the International Space Station, along with a variety of equipment, including a universal cable carrier. Uh, two huge reels of cables, power cables, and an Ethernet cable to be rigged between Zarya and the Poisk module of the International Space Station. We need to translate to that other end of FGB, yes, correct, along the FGB axis. Okay, go ahead, Sasha. If, if we need to um, bypass the battery, uh, it's all right, then I'm going to let you know. Okay. So far, uh, nothing happening. Okay. Can you imagine if you had a button? Button. Button would be so cool. I am ready. Shall we go? Going, going to the right slowly. Just moving. Order. 
Is the picture impressive? Yes, it's impressive. We need to go uh, further up, though, in order to by bypass the FGB solar rays. Okay. Well, you be the judge. You have the best view of everyone involved. Yes, slow down. Yes, you got it. And a little bit up. Do you see it? Peter Nikolaevich, yes. I'm looking at the solar rays. That's great. Great. A little bit more. Do you see the solar um, panel? Inaudible. I got it. Should we continue the discussion? Okay. Good, keep going. You see, it went up and down. You know, I cannot detect that. So I rely totally on you. Absolutely. Are we getting through? Yes, we are. Uh, Alexander, can you uh, take a look at me? Okay, you look great. You look perfect. Thank you. I don't want to blush. It just looks like you're in space. Everything is black around you. So the, how about the velocity here? That seems good. You can probably speed up a little bit, but it feels great. Okay. Now let's go down somewhat. No, no, a little bit. Continue a little further. A little further. Just a tad. Okay. Now we go down.
It was good. Keep going. For Alexander Mazurkin, uh, it's got to be a breathtaking view as the International Space Station flies 260 miles over Morocco, not far actually from Casablanca as we speak. Starboard, starboard. This an excellent view of Fyodor Yurchikin at the end of the Stray Laboom uh, with the Universal Cable Carrier, the series of cable reels with two power connecting cables and one uh, Ethernet cable to be rigged uh, between the, the Poisk module and the Zarya module for the future arrival of the multipurpose laboratory module, the replacement for peers to be launched no earlier than the end of the year on a Russian proton rocket. Keep going, starboard. Okay, let me take a look at you. Okay, now down. Let's keep down. The International Space Station is flying in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator from southwest to northeast, Perfect. soon to cross the northern coast of Africa and the Mediterranean on this particular orbit of the Earth. Once uh, your chicken uh, has finished his transit uh, to the correct location at the forward end of the uh, Zarya module, uh, the uh, Strela boom will be berthed to a handrail, after which uh, he will uh, remove the cradle upon which uh, his equipment is housed. Inaudible. And then uh, we'll begin to unstow that equipment soon uh, thereafter to be joined by Alexander Mazurkin uh, to begin the um, rather lengthy process of beginning to string those power cables between the, uh, the Zarya module and the Poisk module, which is mated uh, to the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station.
Давайте. Характерный ориентир, когда складывать будет. Да, да. А вот если сидеть на, кон... на краю стрелы, э, грубо говоря, подо мной должен быть обрез большого диаметра. I think uh, the large diameter of pegu will need to be behind, uh, below me. Допустим, если After... я поеду там обратно, понимаете, насколько uh, стягивать? Так. Retraction, is that correct? I just want to uh, know what, at what time we should do that. Я сейчас буду вас вниз опускать, когда скажу. Вниз опускать. I think I should go uh, port. SKK should be right underneath you, I think. Нет, Федор, он, он тебя спрашивает на ту реперную точку на ФГБ. He is asking what will be the reference point on FGB, actually, that was his question. I think it will be SM. Yes, we go down now. Yes, we do. You see the position, right? Uh, go starboard. Reference to FGB. Stop here. And now you can start retraction. Okay. Uh, 10 minutes uh, till eclipse. Yes. Stop here. Tell me, you, you tell me when I should stop, right? Yes, I will. Little more. Okay, stop here. Fyodor, your chicken uh, continuing uh, to work in tandem with Alexander Mazurkin, who has been uh, operating a hand crank at the operator's post or the base of the 46-foot-long Strela telescoping boom used to transport uh, Russian cosmonauts and cargo uh, from one location to another about the Russian segment of the International Space Station during spacewalks. Uh, this is the seventh spacewalk in the career of Fyodor Yurchikin, the first of which was conducted back in May of 2007 with Oleg Kotov during the Expedition 15 mission. Kotov is preparing for his launch out of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on the Soyuz TMA-10 spacecraft, uh, 10M spacecraft, along with uh, Mike Hopkins and Sergei Rizansky on September 25th U.S. time, September 26th uh, Baikonur time, to begin their five-and-a-half-month mission aboard the International Space Station. It will be uh, Yurchikin who will be handing off command to Kotov uh, as the Expedition 38 crew member in November of this year, your chicken uh, will soon become the commander of the International Space Station, taking a handoff from Pavel Vinogradov in September, when Vinogradov, Chris Cassidy, and Mazurkin are preparing to, re uh, to return to Earth in their Soyuz vehicle. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sure. All right. Give me a me follow. Oh. Looks like you, sir. Uh, adjustable long tether. We've passed the one hour mark in today's spacewalk that began with the opening of the hatch to the pier's docking compartment at 9.39 a.m. Central Time to begin the 172nd spacewalk in support of space station assembly and maintenance. Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin made their way out of the uh, pier's airlock hatch uh, in very swift fashion. Uh, they uh, collected all of the equipment uh, to be deployed and rigged uh, during the course of today's excursion outside of the pier's docking compartment. Uh, Yurchikin uh, is in the process of uh, making his arrival at the uh, transfer compartment end, or the forward end, of the Zarya module of the International Space Station, the first element uh, of the station that was launched almost 15 years ago, back on November 20th, 1998. This animated uh, clip uh, depicts uh, how your chicken was moved over uh, to the uh, Zarya module from the uh, from the vicinity of the uh, Zvezda service module and the pier's docking compartment, and then uh, basically telescoped down the length of the uh, Zarya module uh, to the forward end, uh, where he will uh, secure uh, the strela boom on a handrail and begin to unload the equipment uh, that predominantly includes uh, two large reels of power cables and an Ethernet cable, as well as an experiment package called Venislavast, the, a, a suite of material science experiments that will be mounted on the hull of the Poitsk module during today's spacewalk. Alexander? So Fyodor cannot see you. Uh, coordinate all the actions with us. Yes? I'm moving away from Strela. Uh, 6035 uh, is my next handrail. After that, 6025. Uh, Alexander, you can see him quite well, so you'll be helping us. Uh, it's about 20 centimeters away from me, but we cannot see it. So I also rely on you here. Fyodor, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, secured. Going to the thermal adapter. We'll have uh, eclipse in about five minutes. Okay. I am on handrail 6025. Copy, Sasha. And I'm next to 1031. Copy, Fyodor. I will look around me. And we'll continue. 1306 and 1310, and next. Uh, just uh, go and check. Uh, 06 and 1310. Okay, I will. Uh -huh. Okay. Looks familiar. 
This is Mission Control Houston, one hour, 13 minutes into the uh, spacewalk. Fyodor Yurchikin has uh, exited uh, the uh, Strela boom that uh, he rode on to be transported uh, from the uh, Piers docking compartment to the forward end of the Zarya module a short time ago. Uh, Alexander Mazurkin, his spacewalking colleague, uh, used a hand crank at the operator's post or the base of this Strela boom uh, to maneuver Yurchikin over to the uh, first work site. Mazurkin uh, now is uh, working to uh, install uh, the Venoslavost experiment panel. 
Uh, Venoslavost is the Russian word for endurance. The uh, next in a series of such panels uh, that have been installed on the hull of the Russian segment of the International Space Station uh, with uh, suites of material science experiments uh, to measure the effect of microgravity on uh, such experiment packages. While this is taking place, Mazurkin also uh, then will be installing a gap spanner, which is essentially a, uh, a relay mechanism uh, that uh, connects, that provides a path of connection uh, to transport uh, spacewalking hardware uh, from one uh, module to another. Uh, the first in this uh, gap spanner series is uh, being attached from the Poisk module uh, to the uh, Zvezda module. Uh, a second uh, gap spanner will be installed uh, between uh, the Poisk module and the Zarya module. Uh, all of this to facilitate uh, the transport of equipment uh, from one module to another for future spacewalking tasks. I'm around about uh, 1306. Okay, just look around and tell us what you can see. Uh, so I have a cable holder. It's about 10 to 15 degrees loose. And I understand that, uh, I, I remember why the configuration is like this. If we attach it away, it's supposed to, we should be like watching a straight at Kamparus antenna. I can uh, rotate only the one that is near the structure by 90 degrees again, or I can deploy the cable holder in this way. Or maybe I can just rotate it, and it will just sit in between comparison and the structure, and it will stay here. And I can do it right now. I can try. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. 90 degrees towards me, then. I will attach it here. And the uh, structure is uh, wobbling, of course. Yeah, yeah, we will be looking into this. This is not so good. Fyodor, uh, Gennady wanted to talk to you now. Fyodor, uh, check the display. Do you have indication for the backup pump? And which switch do you have on? I have the main pump on. We have automatic mode and the main pump on. How about you turn off the main pump and uh, activate the backup pump? Would that be all right? So I have done that. Copy. And the main pump should stay off for now. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Alexander, we can see how you installed the panel. Okay.
I will secure it some more. No hurry. Everything is going fine, time-wise. You are ahead, in fact. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, a view out of the helmet camera from Alexander Mazurkin in his second spacewalk. Joined uh, by Fyodor Yurchikin in the seventh spacewalk of his career, the spacewalking duo exiting the Piers docking compartment, uh, opening the hatch at 9.39 a.m. Central Time to begin their excursion, which is now almost one hour, 20 minutes long. Mazurkin is in the process of uh, rigging the Venoslavost uh, experiment panel package to a handrail on the Poisk module. Uh, this uh, experiment package, uh, the latest in a series of such uh, material science experiments, the first two panels of which uh, were installed uh, during a Russian spacewalk in February of 2012 during Expedition 30 by cosmonauts Oleg Kononenko and Anton Shkaplerov. The uh, first of those two initial Venoslavost panels uh, were, uh, was retrieved by uh, cosmonauts Roman Romanenko and Pavel Vinogradov during a spacewalk back in April. Vinogradov, however, lost his grasp on that uh, experiment panel and it floated away, unfortunately. The second of those two experiment panels uh, successfully retrieved by Yurchikin and uh, Mazurkin during their last spacewalk together back in June. And uh, with uh, Mazurkin having removed uh, his tether from the Venoslavost experiment, uh, that now has been mounted uh, to the handrail on the Poisk module, so that task is now complete. If I rotated it by 90 degrees, then look here, then the cable will be routed pretty close to Comparus. But that would be below antenna. No. That would be between the antenna and the rack and the support. Okay. We have a go to route the cable right here. So you want me to leave it like this? Yes. Okay, what a, I cannot rotate the second one because uh, it is against the structure and the uh, pipeline is sticking out right in that spot. Okay, let us think of something. So you want me to leave it like this, right? Stand by, Fyodor. Just one second. Even though the second one... Well, Fyodor. Uh, if I'll uh, turn towards it, then it will be okay for photo shoot. What if you will reinstall it onto the next handrail? 12.05. No, 13.07. 1307. So you think it would be worse, right? Yeah, yes. Let me rotate the second one by 90 degrees as well. And during the routing, if required, we'll just rotate it back again. Okay. I will tighten it by hand for now. Okay. Uh, please remember, 1306. I need to release it from that one. I wrote it down for myself. 
Uh, it was me who tightened that before. Uh, you know, it's hard to tighten without a wrench. I'm installing the mountain plate on 6017 handrail. Yes, that's correct. Guys, all we hear is noise. What did you say, Sasha? No, the only thing I said that I'm installing a T1 on 617. Okay, great. Copy all. Now tell me, please, the cables that are already routed here, uh, were they uh, on the side, or uh, are they supposed to be in between? No, they're supposed to be in between, and that's where we'll be routing the Ethernet cable as well. So between two supports, yes. Okay. Yes, but when I rotate it, then uh, the cable will be about 15 centimeters away from the FGP surface. Well, on the one side, it's supposed to be on the uh, panel of the breakout box, MKR. Okay, now I'm, again, I've tightened it by hand. That's fine. Okay, we are now done with 1306. Now let's go to 1310, correct? I can install two more um, pairs, right? Well, Fyodor, you will have to translate and pick up the support and secure the beam because Sasha also did a few steps. Okay. So I believe you'll be doing the, uh, it in parallel. Just for your understanding, there are two attachment points. That I understand, Fyodor, but we will be installing the supports. Okay. Okay, I agree. Sergey Sergeyevich, the mountain plate number one is installed. 
Uh, yes, I can see it. That's good. Here, the second support is uh, without latch, and so it's kind of wobbly. It's very exactly. It only has one attachment point. The second one is just a screw. Okay, it will not go anywhere. I agree. If possible, tighten up the latch. By latch, you mean the latch of the plate? Yes. yes. Of course. How do you feel, guys, both of you? We are fine in working spirit. Very good. Okay, tightened. Copy. Now 13.10. Uh, we were doing it for... 1306, Sergey, we need to swap them now. Fyodor, let's do it right away, okay? Okay. And uh, why? What's the problem, Fyodor? It's hard to say, Sergey. Sasha, you know what? We'll discuss it tomorrow. I understood and Fyodor understood. Okay. Okay. I'm installing the mountain plate number two on six one nine. Okay. Sasha, maybe we shall install the kit first. I mean the cable. Bundle yeah. on handrail number 18. No problem. Uh, no, wait a minute. Let's talk about the sequence. It will not get installed until I remove the mountain plate. Okay. Let's install the second plate and then this reel, but uh, make sure that we will not have to swap it later. Uh, there should be enough room there. Please pay close attention. Okay. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, a little over an hour and a half into today's spacewalk by Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin. The uh, two cosmonauts are working in the uh, neighborhood of the Zarya and Poisk modules on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Uh, the Venoslavost uh, experiment uh, panel has been installed on the hull of Poisk on a handrail. The uh, crew now working uh, in tandem uh, to set up and connect uh, a pair of patch panels for future connectors uh, that uh, will mate uh, a variety of cables uh, between the new multi-purpose laboratory module yet to be launched 
by the Russians from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and other power and ethernet uh, cables that are being rigged during the course of today's spacewalk and which will be extended even further uh, throughout the Russian segment of the station on future Russian excursions outside. You may hear a reference uh, during the spacewalk coverage today to fair leads. Uh, these are devices that essentially are used uh, to properly route uh, these cables uh, up both above and below the handrail sequences on the outside of the Russian modules of the International Space Station. After uh, your chicken and mazurkin complete today's spacewalk and the uh, installation of these um, power and ethernet cables uh, between uh, the Zari and Poisk modules uh, and uh, two gap spanners uh, between the Poisk, uh, one of which will go between Poisk and Zarya, the other between Poisk and the Zvezda service module, gap spanners being uh, the devices that are used uh, to transport equipment and uh, crew members uh, between uh, points of entry between the modules uh, themselves on the Russian segment of the station. Once this is all complete, uh, they will spend a portion of their weekend uh, reviewing uh, the work that they have done and preparing for a debriefing uh, with Russian spacewalk specialists on Monday, at which time they will immediately begin uh, to uh, recharge uh, the batteries in their Russian Orlan spacesuits and review procedures and timelines for the next spacewalk they will take just six days from now, next Thursday, at which time they will replace a laser communications experiment on the outside of the Zvezda service module with a swiveling platform upon which a small optical telescope will be mounted on a future excursion, as well as the removal of a docking uh, target from the docking assembly on uh, the uh, docking port, if you will, to the pier's docking compartment itself. Okay, and also, I believe that cables here must be in between the holders. Is that correct? Yes. The entire route of the Ethernet cables, cables is running between the holders. Oh, well, I'm not so sure it will, it can be done all the way. Uh, say it again. Uh, there is uh, one wrong clip here, or is it for Fairlead? Okay. Okay, I've installed it. Okay. No, I didn't do it right. Let me redo it.
Okay, I'm done with 1310. Copy, Sudder. Okay, now. As agreed, now. Guys, you are resting now. All the way till sunrise. Can we start resting right now? Yes, right now. We have only five minutes left before the sunrise. Can I tighten it a little bit? Fyodor, ну давай так честно. Fyodor. Take it, boy, be honest. Just go ahead and take some rest. Well, it will have to be tightened anyway. That's just the captain's list. Yes, that will have to be done. Okay. And actually, we'll have to check all of them along the way. But after we install the uh, Ethernet cable, then we'll use the range to tighten all of them. Okay, I hope they're installed exactly as you wanted them to be. Okay, copy. By the way, here in this area, we need to arrange the transfer to the other side. You're talking about next to the frame, yes. Where 1050 is, yes, before the frame. Because there are handles that will help you to transfer to the other side. We'll work on this. Yes, please. Maybe I'll do it one more time in Hydro Lab. Talk to the guys. Okay. Now about this board. Uh, uh, next to the frame, you know, it's secured with the wire tie on one side. Yes, I know. Uh, the uh, latch was uh, closed, but not really too securely, so uh, it was an addition.
This is Mission Control Houston approaching the one hour 45 minute mark into today's spacewalk by uh, Yurchikin and Mazurkin as uh, they are working uh, on a variety of connections uh, for a pair of uh, patch panels uh, that are being uh, affixed to handrails on the Poisk module of the International Space Station uh, through which uh, power cables and an Ethernet cable will be strung from Poisk uh, to uh, the Zarya module uh, to begin uh, and continue the work uh, to appropriately uh, disposition uh, all of those cables that will be used ultimately uh, by the multipurpose laboratory module, a huge laboratory module, docking port, and airlock that will be launched uh, no, no earlier than the end of the year uh, by the Russians uh, from uh, the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on a proton rocket. Uh, that will replace the Piers docking compartment, the venerable Russian airlock for the station that has been aloft since September 2001. Were of different lengths. You know, you managed to do it very fast, but this is good cable, one free one. I'm talking about Tether 910, yes. Uh, you know, it looks like if next time we'll be tied uh, in a bundle, then probably we should use threads and uh, just sew it up, and that way we'll keep the knot uh, intact, but then we'll have to rupture it. Yes, but in general, when we use this uh, loop, uh, to tighten some, to tie something up, we either return it or we forget it. Okay, so now, can we proceed? I think yes. Okay. And we can keep talking. Let's proceed. Uh, let's secure the reel. Copy. Background noise inaudible. Okay, the Ethernet rail is uh, installed, it's secured and locked. Now I'm installing the tether between 6008 and 1503. Okay? Sasha, did you say 1502? Yes, 1502, correction. Okay, copy. Working uh, very swiftly through the timeline, uh, your chicken and Mazurkin are in the process of routing uh, one of two power cables uh, for the uh, multi-purpose laboratory module. Uh, this uh, first of two power cables being routed to a connector patch panel that uh, they installed just a few minutes ago and stowing the cable appropriately in uh, through this uh, circuitous route of fair leads, uh, essentially devices that will help route the cables to make sure that they are not uh, floating loose or uh, are not securely uh, fastened to the hull of the uh, Zarya module of the International Space Station.
The International Space Station and its crew split up into two sets of two, into three sets of two crew members uh, apart from one another, Yurchikin and uh, Mazurkin uh, working outside, of course. Pavel Vinogradov, the station commander, and NASA flight engineer Chris Cassidy isolated in the uh, Poisk module and uh, their Soyuz spacecraft for the day as the flight rules call for during a Russian spacewalk. And uh, Karen Nyberg and uh, Luca Parmitano of the European Space Agency uh, free to move about the U.S. segment of the International Space Station doing other work today. Uh, the uh, six crew members currently flying 260 statute miles above the Earth over the South Pacific, about to begin a southwest to northeasterly track that will carry uh, the International Space Station and its half dozen crew members uh, across the west coast of South America. The moon is just beautiful. Um, I was looking at it today, admiring it, and I took some photographs yesterday. Okay, this is installed. Yes, I can see Sasha. Okay, let me install the second tether quickly. Yes, that's what I was going to suggest. That's great. Uh, to recap uh, today's activities, uh, the hatch was opened to the Piers docking compartment at 9.39 a.m. Central Time. Uh, Alexander Mazurkin was first out of the hatch uh, at the start of today's spacewalk, the 172nd spacewalk in support of space station assembly and maintenance. He was uh, soon there joined by Fyodor Yurchikin outside of the Piers. Uh, the two set up tools and equipment and then uh, made their way to the Strela boom, a 46-foot-long telescoping boom. Your chicken uh, carried with him to the end of the Strela boom uh, a universal cable carrier uh, with two giant reels of cables uh, for power cables and an Ethernet cable that the crew is in the process of uh, beginning the work to rig uh, between the Poisk module and the Zarya module of the International Space Station. Uh, Mazurkin operated uh, the crane through a hand crank at the operator's post at the base of Strela to properly maneuver your chicken into place. Uh, you're looking at uh, the crew uh, currently working at the forward end of the Azaria module where they have uh, set up uh, a pair of uh, connector patch panels and are working now to set up uh, gap spanners. Uh, those are uh, devices that help uh, move equipment from one uh, module to another uh, short distances uh, where literally a gap exists between one module uh, and another on the Russian segment of the station. All of this associated with the uh, deployment and uh, the proper uh, configuration of two power cables uh, that will uh, be stretched from uh, the Poisk module, one from the Poisk module to the uh, Zarya module, uh, the other uh, in the opposite direction that will be used uh, to ultimately rig up uh, the power uh, to the multipurpose laboratory module that the Russians will launch uh, at no earlier than later this year uh, that will replace the Piers docking compartment. Nikolaevich, how are you? Not able. Okay, copy, copy. Sergey. Um, there's only one uh, wing nut that you need to lose. Uh, second is just 
Эй. Он, он ее фиксирует просто в, в этом, он в шарнире. Он ее фиксирует просто в, в этом. Uh, just, uh, the joint. It's not a uh, part of the walk. Is it the same tightening one? Uh, the lock was tightened by hand. Okay. You just uh, release it. There is no little pin. Okay. Сергей, часть чуть-чуть, он 